Hi there, this is Alvin with Kickstart Commerce, and in today's tutorial, I want to show you how to syndicate WordPress content. And so what, I, what I'm going to uh, show you in, I guess, to in short here is that if someone wanted to, um, you know, have your content syndicated onto their website, or if you're the party that you have a blog that's uh, doing well, growing, or you're wanting to grow it, through offering uh, guest blogging opportunities to others whereby you syndicate their content to your blog then I'm going to show you how um, and which which plugin is best used to syndicate WordPress content so uh, I'm gonna jump right in I have a local copy of WordPress already installed um, it's just a simple plain Jane vanilla version of WordPress that being said go ahead and log in and I already have a login window here that's open and what you're wanting to do is go to plugins and you can either click plugins or click add new and the plugin that we are going to search for is called RSS post importer uh, now there are a number of other um, plugins that you can use to syndicate uh, and you can see here W WPRSS Aggregator is one, Cybersyn is another, Feed WordPress uh, is even another, as well as Syndicate Press. So those that I listed, so like Syndicate Press, it's very simple in nature, but the user interface is a bit outdated, so that's why I'm not using it here. Uh, Cybersyn, which is listed here, it is uh, great. It's not really... Uh, user friendly for like the basic WordPress users, so it can be a bit of a hassle to set up. But one good thing about it is that it does provide syndication of YouTube feeds. So not all um, RSS post importers will allow for YouTube uh, feeds, but Cybersyn does. Feed WordPress, um, you just have to really be, I mean, highly uh, tech savvy. Um, because some of the settings can get really advanced in short order uh, if you're just a novice or a basic user. And so it may not be the plugin for you. And I, I say the same thing about WP RSS aggregator, this one here. Um, it, you know, you have to be every bit of, of tech to really understand this plugin. And then the downside to it is to take advantage of some of the features that it states that it offers, uh, you have to pay for the premium add-on so it's not the best plugin you know if you're looking for something that's uh, uh, free and cost friendly the WP RSS aggregator you know kind of nickels and dimes you for for different things that you want to do but that being said we're gonna go ahead and install the RSS post importer uh, I reviewed all of those and for me this was the one I mean it's not without its quirks but out of every one of them that I installed, this was the one that I felt by far would be the easiest for someone who is new to WordPress or just a basic WordPress user. So go ahead and click activate. We'll allow it to install here. Once it installs, then on the left hand side under settings, you can go to RSS post importer. Once you go there, one of the things that you'll want to be sure to do before you go out and get your feed is that you'll want to come through these frequency settings. So you can decide, hey, I want to go out and pull these every five minutes, 10 minutes, once an hour, twice a day, once daily custom or set your own custom frequency. For this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to basically say uh, we'll just set it to run twice daily. And then this is, so some of the features here uh, require a test API. Now you do get a free one for 14 days, but then you'll have to pay for the full RSS key here and you can click that link and learn more about it. But how it, um, it basically, so you'll put the key here and then it'll unlock these features. So like the keyword filters, it'll unlock and then it'll also unlock the, um, uh, you know, basically deleting port, deleting posts that have already been imported, as well as de deleting posts that uh, are cached. So you can see we have two, two uh, deleted posts that are there, um, and only because I'd already tried this out before. 
and then you have many different other features that I'm not going to go over. You can read them, you know, for yourself here. Uh, but really, the thing is that you, you know, you want to make sure that if you want to dis disable or display, then you'll need to check the boxes according. Um, and then the one thing that I that I say is. So because when, and you'll see it here when we go to add our feed, it's going to ask, do we want to import? Well, it requires that you need the RSS key to be able to import um, existing an existing author from their website to your site. So what I recommend is you go in and you create the user for the person that you will be importing to. And then when you go in to set up your feed, you'll hit add new and I already have a a site that's just out there that I use from time to time for tutorials uh, called Round Rock House Cleaning and we'll type it in here Round Rock House .com. we want to say five posts are the max um, you can choose to follow or no follow I just leave that as no now this is interesting so the SEO canonical tag so often is the case the right way to, um, you know, guest post or syndicate content is you want the content to be local on your website, but you want to attribute, um, you know, the 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 right sourcing in terms of pointing back and saying, hey, this this content was already posted, and then you want to make sure that the canonical tag, which search engines look for, that it points back to the source. So instead of my blog URLs, you want to make sure that this is source blog URLs. Um, and then again, this says automatically import um, of authors. I just say no. And then because I created the user over here, then um, you know you can uh, choose to import that import that author or not. Or if you use the RSS key, then you'll be able to set it you know to the feed author. Um, and so for now, it's, it's just set to the default, which is me. You can also auto import categories. I'm choosing not to. Again, to use categories, tags, and keyword filters, you'll need the RSS key, um, which is it's pretty easy to get, uh, and in my opinion, based on the user experience and then just overall cost, I like this option way better. Strip HTML tags, you can say yes or no. I say no. Now, when you get done setting up all of these different settings, do not hit close. Don't hit close. What you'll want to do is come over here and you'll want to click save. And this is one of the little gotchas here. Um, if you click close or if you click save and import, it will not save the feed. You'll have to go back in and enter all that information in. So when you're adding a feed, click add new, change all the necessary settings, and then come and hit the save. Uh, and then if you need to go back in and edit, you can go back in and edit, but be sure, don't hit close, hit save. If you hit close, you will not save any of the settings. All right, so now we've got the uh, Round Rock House Cleaning in there. And so, let's see here, we can now click save and import. Now that you have those here, you can come here and click save and import. And so, the reason why it's not importing post for me is because I previously um, made another post. Now, what I'll do is come back in here and we'll show you show you what it means to add a second post and we'll do kickstart and I'm just going to say kickstart commerce feed and I'm just gonna say five is the maximum that I want no I want it to point to show source um, not even worried about the author none of that info remember don't click close you'll go back up here Click save. It'll save. It'll say save, import, and then you'll see what it's doing. So now it's imported five posts. So the interesting thing is when it imports these five posts, 
now you can see it has Im imported the last five posts here. And so when I click that and go to this post, there is my post. And basically what it does is says it adds already for you, so it'll show the content there. You can then go the post, and then it'll give the title appeared on appeared first on Kickstart Commerce, and then it gives the source. Now, if you want to go in and you want to edit, um, you know, let's say you want to edit the post. So we'll come in here, and there are the last five posts. Uh, and what you can do is click edit. And then you can begin to edit the post. Now, because of how I set my feeds up, my feed only gives a summary. It does not give full content. So if you want to get full content, nine times out of 10, you'll have to contact, which I recommend that you contact the content owner and be sure that you secure their uh, permission to syndicate their content. Um, even if you're going to put you know, uh, the source on there anyway. It's best to have their written permission first. Uh, but nevertheless, you could come in here and um, basically go in and begin to comment, change things around, change the text around, you know, and do whatever you need to do and then save that content. And then, like I said, you're pretty much off to the races at that point. That being said, you know, it's pretty easy to use uh, for a basic user. And again, here's, like I said, here's the template of how things will be formatted. It shows you what you can do. Um, you can add different, you know, formats in there, or you can remove this. You can remove that source, which would remove this, but it would allow the content to stay. Um, so yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free. Um, let me know what questions you have or comments you have. Like I said, it's it's pretty easy to get started syndicating content using the RSS post importer settings. Like I said, I mentioned the others, Syndi Syndicate Press, CyberSyn, Feed WordPress, WP RSS Aggregator. Those are other options, but be forewarned that you'll, you, you may have to have um, additional technical capabilities to be able to understand um, and get the hang of how to use each of those plugins as well as some of those plugins you do have to pay for their premium add-ons to be able to take full advantage of different um, uh, functionality. So that being said, uh, please, 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 by all means, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I drop a video, one video a week here, and it's either in regards to search marketing, uh, WordPress, or even domain name investing um, strategies to grow your business. So please subscribe as well as visit kickstartcommerce.com and subscribe to uh, my daily newsletter there and uh, where I share more ideas about how to grow your customer base, your revenue base using different search marketing and domain investing business strategies. So thanks. See you back here soon.